Lindberg Pass, which translates as Shiny Mountain, is a fairly long pass found on the much revered gravel road through the southern Cedarberg. This pass and the Grootrevier Pass run concurrently for a distance of almost 20 kilometers through some of the most magnificent and rugged mountain scenery. It's not necessary to be in a 4x4 for this road. Normal sedan vehicles will cope quite easily, even in wet weather. The next pass to the north, the Grootrevier Pass, will be a lot more difficult for normal cars, and especially so for front-wheel drive cars, as the steep parts are not tarred, and in wet weather, things can go pear-shaped near the top of the pass without four-wheel drive. The pass starts at its southern end high on the upper plateau of the Koerbockefeld. It drops down quickly into a narrow valley between two mountain ranges, and other than the odd twist and turn, it basically follows this gap in the mountains for many kilometers until it eventually becomes the Grootrevier Pass and terminates at Maikisrevier where the road splits into two. From there, the left-hand road heads over towards the west to Kromrevier, Dwarsrevier, Algeria and ultimately Clan William, whilst the right-hand road sticks to the eastern side and crosses through the Isselbank village to end at Wuppertal. The Blinkberg Pass is interesting and it's your first real taste of the true Cedarberg when approaching from the south. The quality of the road is generally quite good and the driving is a pleasure as the altitude starts dropping with the mountains becoming increasingly higher as you proceed northwards. After about 4 kilometers of descending, the gradient eases off and the road ahead can be seen climbing up a very steep hill. This is the first of two tarred mini-summits along this road. The crest of this first mini-summit is an excellent place to stop and take a breather, but be sure to pull right off the road as there is not much width for passing traffic. The entire pass falls within the Greater Cedarberg Conservancy Zone. From this vantage point you can look southwards back to the neck where you've just descended from. This is a favorite photographic point for most visitors as the road winds its way away from you till it's a tiny speck at the top of the valley. Looking ahead, the road winds its way enticingly to the next mini summit, which is another three kilometers away. The valley gets deeper and the golden red rocks of the area start closing in towards the road. Steep cliffs to the left hint of a bigger river and big it is, as it is the aptly named Grootrevier, which is the largest in the area. A tall conical shaped peak looms ahead and to the left. Make a note of it as it marks the start of a lovely trail to a waterfall to the west. As the second tar section starts, the road dips wickedly to the right, then drops suddenly down over a stream and bends sharp left again just as quickly and starts ascending abruptly up the gradient which is extremely steep. Please note that the path and the waterfall fall within the boundaries of the Mount Cedar farm and only paying guests may use this facility. Non-guests may make inquiries at the Mount Cedar office at the bottom of the pass. Once over the second mini summit you will again have the beautiful views to both the north and the south with the road winding its way into the distance. It's another four kilometers to the bottom of the pass. About halfway down there's one specific bend which is worth mentioning. There is a short dip where after the road whips around sharply to the left. The bend is very sharp and comes up quickly for the unwary driver. The last two kilometers are straightforward and easy and the gradient is consistent. Soon the green roofed buildings at Mount Cedar make an appearance and the third and final section of tar commences. The pass terminates at the crossing of the Grootrevier, which is via a single width concrete low level bridge. The Mount Cedar guest farm offers a wide range of self catering accommodation as well as camping. On the far side of the bridge are many acres of olive trees, which is the farm's main source of produce. <laughs>